Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Mexico Tech. You are watching series Introduction to Graph Theory. In the previous video, we looked at the definition and the properties of directed graph. This will be the continuation of the same in which we'll be looking at the connectivity and the reachability of graph. So let's get started. Directed graph connectivity. A walk is an alternating sequence of vertices and arcs where every arc represents a directed order of pair of vertices. So the walk in the given example is from V1 to V2, V2 to V3, then back to V2, then back to V3. Our directed trail is a directed walk with distinct arcs. In here we have V2 and V3 counted twice in the walk. So we will remove one of this arc and end up in directed trial. A directed path is a directed trial with distinct vertices. So in our directed trial we have V2 twice. By simply removing one V2 we end up in our directed path. A directed cycle is a directed trial with distinct vertices except the first and the last. So, so we simply add the first vertex in the end of the directed trial and end up in a directed cycle. A digraph is said to be strongly connected if there exists a directed path between every pair of distinct vertices. <laughs> Similarly, it is weakly connected if the underlying graph is connected. So let's say this is a graph and this is the underlying graph of the given. So is it strongly connected, weakly connected? Let's see. Hmm. The underlying graph of this has two components. One has only V4 and the other component has these three vertices. So this is not even connected because V4 cannot reach V1, V2 and V3. <laughs> to make it at least weakly connected, let us draw an arc either from V4 to V3 or vice versa. Now the underlying graph consists of total one component and is completely reachable by every vertices. So underlying graph is connected, which makes the directed graph weakly connected. Why can't we say that this digraph is strongly connected? Because there exists no path between V2 and V3. Also between V1 and V4, also between V3 and V4. So if we only draw one single arc from V3 to V4, we now have path between every single pair of distinct vertices, no matter if the path is single hop or multi hop, but it is connected. Digraph reachability. A node V is reachable from node U if there exists a directed path from V to U. To find out that, we will follow a simple logarithm. First step, check if the source node is the destination node. If it is, return true, which means that the source node is already the destination node, so we already have a path. Else, for each neighbor and i of the source node, check if there exists a path from a neighbor node to the destination node. So it will actually go through each neighbors of the neighbor set and continue to find the path to the destination node, and if it does, in the step 1, we will return true and hence in step 2.2.1, we will return. If we reach at the step 3, we have efficiently tried every possible way to reach the destination. So that means that the given source and destination nodes have no possible path to connect. So returning false. Let us look at the example from V4 to V2. Is there a path from V4 to V2? Is V2 equal to V4? No. Pick some neighbor of V4. Let's say we pick V3. Is there a path from V3 to V2? Is V2 equal to V3? No. Pick some neighbor of V3. In this case, we have two neighbors, V4 and V3. We randomly pick V4. Is there a path from V4 to V2? Note that we have repeated step 1 here. So we will end up revisiting V4 without ever finding a solution. So to overcome this issue, we simply modify the existing code to remember each visited node. Check if there exists a path from source to destination node. Mark the source node as the visited. If the source is equal to destination, return true. Else, for each neighbor, 
of the source if we have not visited this neighbor already then repeat step one with source is equal to with source equals to the neighbor node and if you find the solution and if you find the destination node return true else return false so in the first step we will find the neighbor node v3 of v4 then in the second step we will find the neighbor node v1 of v3 and finally we will reach to the neighbor v2 of v1 which will be our final destination note that in this logarithm we are recursively going through every single node and its neighbor so the total time that it could take to find the destination node in worst case scenario would be the total number of nodes plus edges so to find reachable nodes for n nodes the time complexity for this solution would be n to the power of v plus e where v is the number of nodes in the graph and e is the number of edges in the graph that is all for this video i hope it was informative for you guys and if it was please don't forget to like and share and do subscribe to the channel if you are new this is going to keep us motivated to bring such useful stuff to you guys in the future the next video will be about weighted grass trees and spanning trees so stay tuned i will see you in the next one take care